era where these young ladies, um, specifically Annie Liederman, um, suggested a while back that a male comedian within the LA space told her that he wanted to take her on a truck walk. And if you don't know what a truck walk is, it's basically a colloquialism for gluck gluck 7000 towards a car or gluck gluck 7000 in a car. Um, Annie Liederman being the queen that she is obviously de you know, de denied that man's advances, but it still left a sour taste in her mouth, no pun intended. And she felt like she had to share the story with her sisters on her podcast. And it just happened to be that Lila to her left and to our right who happens to be Bobby Lee's girl also had a story to share about that said gentleman where he allegedly um what you call it text her during I think a New Year's Eve or something to hang out even though he was with his family which was super awful and also at the time it was very public that she was with Bobby Lee so at the time they didn't share any names they didn't say who it was literally if only you're one of us and you're balls deep in this shit you would know who it was but no one would have known who this person was that they were talking about but of course the homeless cats on the fire and the kids subreddit discovered it and they found out that allegedly it could be brendan Schaub. i'm not sure if it is don't sue me you gargoyle looking motherfucker i'm not too sure if it is you but people are saying that it might be you so the trolling began people started going in on him they started trolling him i'm sure people reached out to his girl which i'm not a fan of i don't believe in getting the kids or his girl or any of his family members involved in this brendan's a public figure leave it all to him but they did that regardless then of course i think just after that if i'm not mistaken that might have coincided no, just after that Brendan then was doing a live stream with Mike Tyson for um, the Super Bowl, I think. And like an idiot, or as unlucky as he is, he got caught on live stream in 4K handing a note to some random girl who looked like she was very happy that somebody like Brendan, who is somewhat famous, was um, into her and gave her a note or whatever it may be. People, of course, clipped that, threw it up on a subreddit. That went crazy again. Then I think that coincided with brendan's wife at the time or miss or whatever you whatever that girl whatever she is to him um she was removing his name on the bio taking it off and deleting his pictures like loads of messy stuff behind the scenes that you could see okay he's def all this is definitely causing some turmoil in his household then eventually it got to a point where i think as per usual she decided to go on a las vegas trip which is usually something that coincides with either him stepping out or him she not being happy with him or i don't know they've got some relationship stuff going on there where it seems like whenever they go through an issue she happens to jump jump on a plane to las vegas hang out with a girl and you know and do what girls do cool whatever it doesn't matter get back to brendan somehow or the other he then decides in that process to go and sue uniques a, a small youtuber other youtubers get pissed off they get angry they start shouting at him and now we're in a situation now where he is allegedly suing the ladies that he tried to hit on which i don't understand but anyway let's hear it in their own words they basically discuss it without naming brendan Shaw, but basically they're talking about brendan Shaw. Okay, all right i actually do want to come out there's been a lot of stuff about a certain oh, no. a certain walk in a certain like vehicle, <laughs> walk to a vehicle. and i want to say the initials are bs but he did pass away recently in a hotel room so i don't want to out him <laughs> <laughs> He, um, a man, yes, it was a comedian with the initial BS that wanted me to welcome to the stuff, but he is, he has passed in, in Florida. Oh, <laughs> God. Yes, may his soul rest. He's a good person. He's a good person. Oh. Oh, boy. Well, if you, I mean, I don't think we've ever addressed this on our show, but Dumois, did, I think we cut that out when we talked about it, Did right? we? We did. Okay, let's get juicy with it. So Dumois is a celebrity like gossip account, and a couple, maybe about a month ago, they posted something about our show, and we know it was about our show because it had the word bloodbath in it, and it had like other, oh, it had Oh, you don't know, it could have been about that other bloodbath show. <laughs> oh, wait, <laughs> nobody talks about that show. <laughs> And um, they're never gonna give us the name back. <laughs> we want the fucking. Yeah, name. I know we want the name. Whatever. Give us the fucking name. So we, um, it this post on the go gossip site said like this popular podcast, which we were like, hey girl, thanks for calling us popular, <sighs> and uh, it said that we had a lot of controversy behind the scenes and tension that we had. We were a part of a big scandal. And mm. that the tension you were feeling was real among nobody us. felt any tension, but. 
that scandal that they were referring to had nothing to do with the three of us, and it was because Go ahead. Uh, of, uh, it's potentially we were threat being threatened uh, a lawsuit. Uh, and I'm like scared to even say that out we loud. We can't really. S- we just won't say the name, right? But we we'll won't. Just... Yeah. But someone was like behind the scenes threatening to sue us. Like we never want to address like certain like either rumors or no. things like that. But I genuinely, from the bottom of my heart, if someone were to just point blank oh, ask me okay. even th- the the craziest question, I have nothing to hide. Like ask me. I'm yeah. not threatened by it. So. The threats right. don't actually threaten. Whatever the Please. threat is that we don't want to talk about because we don't want to like add to it. Because even the thing that started it all was really just an anonymous anecdote. And I'll say this to, like that person, up, yeah. to that person who threatened us. I'll say this. You think you have a one over me? I fucking dare you, motherfucker. <laughs> I dare you. Let it out of your chest because that is actually not a real threat. You think you're threatening me. But... It's kind of that information's already out there, you little bitch. Yeah. She can yeah. confirm. She can confirm. Bobby can confirm. It's just confirm. also, I just want to say this: like my c- currency is not money. My currency and where I see value power is in jokes. So I'm rich and you're broke, bitch. So come <laughs> after me. You got nothing on me. You unfunny piece of shit. Come for me. I dare you. Well, okay. So live and direct, you saw what their reply was. Uh, <sighs> I think I mentioned this in the video before when I spoke about this issue. The number one problem for me, I feel like, I think we've all kind of been in this sort of scenario as men, I feel like, especially if you sometimes um, give in to your, uh, give in to the desires of your penis. I don't think it's really a smart idea to try and hit on women that you happen to be in the same scene as, right? I really don't. I think you should try, if anything, to be a confidant, a supporter, a protector of women who are in your scene or who are in your industry. And if something happens naturally through the process of you hanging around together for countless amounts of hours or getting to know each other through events and whatnot, then fair enough. But there should be no real effort made to try and hit on people that you're in the same scene with or industry with. I don't think that's good thing of course i've done it myself i've I've had many failed attempts many successful attempts but i don't think it's actually a good thing it, it inevitably always leads to issues always always and if it does work out and then you end up breaking up what happens what happens then if you do if you do end up and you end up breaking up what happens then then you have one of the, you have to has to leave the scene you're in. Imagine you move to a new city. You have to leave the scene you're in. You have to find a whole new social circle because people will have their loyalties about who they're kind of loyal to in a group and whatnot. It just doesn't seem like a worthwhile thing to do. I really don't agree with it. I've always thought it's a bad thing personally, in my opinion. So I thought that was obviously a big slip. Then the other slip that comes from it is the fact that you're trying to hit on two people who have already in relationships. Um, or no, two people who, no relationship, but two people who are kind of, I won't say spoken for, but two people that you shouldn't be touching, I would assume. And lead them in because she is so close to Joe Rogan and you don't want to mess that up and get in trouble with that way. And also in terms of Kalila, she's, you know, with flipping Bobby Lee. And it's well known, well publicized that they're together. And I kind of understand a little bit about, the brendan kind of listen does this doesn't make any sense hear me out a bit right i kind of get the mindset that he's coming from in terms of she's a very attractive woman and clearly bobby isn't right so maybe in like a really narcissistic bro-y kind of way he felt like bobby didn't deserve her and he felt like he did but as men i think you have been in a position before i know i have where you've uttered the line something along the lines of um why are you with him? You should be with me. You, those kind of lines, right? And if ever there was a line or a phrase that would get a woman to have, you know, to get a woman to not be into you quicker, it would be that. If you want to get a woman to kind of be turned off and completely disgusted by you and think you're an absolute douche, tell her that, oh, the person that she's seeing is a loser and she should be with you. It doesn't work that way. It maybe works in films or movies or when your friends lie to you and tell you that worked. But trust me, in real life, it doesn't work. It makes you look like an absolute prick. 
So maybe that's where he was coming from. He was like, nah, man, how did you get her, man? She should be with me, blah, 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 blah. And I'll assume as well, not to be crass, I'll assume too, in the comedy community, when a new woman comes along, it's like fresh meat, right? And you have to try and jump on them before and before, before they see anybody else or before they get impressed, impressed by somebody else. I don't know, maybe. So the, the, that might have been the case. But overall, I just think, I just think it was a real scumbag thing to do really really scumbag thing to do um and i think if anything this should this should have been more of a sort of like oh let's not fuck with this guy at all let's keep him on the outside he's not one of us thing but because brendan's associated with joe rogan i think people kind of skipped it and they kind of let it be they just kind of didn't really pay much attention to it or just kind of let it be where it was but i think this is a real big problem this anything should have been a vindication of just how weird of a guy brendan is and the issues that are at hand i think this should have been a problem I think this should have been the flipping the warning sign for everybody out there seeing it because I don't really think that's cool I really don't 